these bricks were originally grey like these and I'm going to show you how we used our yellow stock and lightener products to produce this effect. At the end we also produced some character to the bricks using another one of our products called Aftertones and I'll show you how we did that. It is difficult to lighten some bricks as a lot depends on how old they are and how many surface contaminants are, are trapped which can stop the dyes fusing to the available silica in the clay. But we'll show you what's possible with using our lightener and the yellow stock. What we'll do, we'll open the yellow stock first. Check in there that there's no sediment in the bottom. Then you add the fixing agent. Now I've already made the, uh, the lightener up because that needs to, to rest for about a, an hour or two once you've made it. I'm going to add 20 mils of the yellow stock to a little pot. So 20 mils of that. And then I'm going to add 10 mils of the lightener. So again, make sure that's well stirred. I'm going to add 10 mils. The mix. And now I'm going to test this on, a, on this test book. So a lot depends on the absorption of your brick to know what effect you're going to achieve. And also a lot depends on the original surface colour. And then you just leave that to dry and that will dry the same colour as, as that. So I'm going to try it on some other brooks now. So as long as you've got a certain amount of absorption, the effect should be quite good. The problem is, is if you've got too much um, surface contaminants that stop the, the dyes soaking into the brick, then that, that could be the only problem. So I'm going to put this, this colour on first and see how it, how it looks. But you may have to add some aftertones to it, depending on how the brick absorbs the product and how much variation, natural variation you, you lose by adding the lightener to the mix. But you need the lightener to the mix so that you can create the, uh, the vibrancy really and kill that dark colour. If you put the yellow on on its own it would work with the darker colour and just produce a, a darker uh, dirtier looking yellow really. And then just leave that to dry. So that's produced quite a good good yellow. 
Um, but what I want to do is, because we've lost a bit of character of the brick, um, I'm going to add some aftertones just to bring some highlights into the into the bricks to add some more character to them. And these are our aftertones here. And you don't need much of this to um, produce the result you're looking for. So I'm just going to show you how we do it. So just have a little bit on your brush. And keep brushing it on a dry brick like this until you lose a bit of the uh, a lot of it on there. And because what we need to do is just add a bit of highlights like this. So just make it so it's semi-dry on your brush. And I'm going to add some features. So just add it lightly and then add some highlights to different areas. This will just bring some character into the brick. And then do the same with a another a different brush. So if you think you've added too much um, white to the bricks and you just want to add a bit more yellow to it, then just go over it with the with the yellow. Black can be quite nice because you can then bring in a bit more sort of shadowing or just a, a bit more relief into the brick. And you don't have to use a, a brick, you can use a, an artist palette here or a piece of wood or a bit of cardboard. Anything just to get that semi dry on your brush. Just just add a bit more depth to the to the brick and highlight some of those creases and patterns. And there's no end of, of colours you can achieve. Just keep overlaying or if you're not happy with it then tint back over it. And that gives you an idea of what's, what's possible. So just see how it works with your particular brick type. <laughs>